Hey, are you stalking me? But why? I'm the evil twin. Why are you stalking me? I'm the bad guy. You want to know what I'm doing? So I just explain it once. I'm the evil twin. You think I'm the real one, but I'm the bad guy. I'm gonna just redirect your information, your queries, your requests, your whatever you want to do to the good one. But in the meanwhile, I'm gonna see what you're doing. I'm gonna intercept. I'm gonna steal your queries and your data. So I'm the evil twin. In this video, you're gonna see how you can have your evil twin, how evil twin works, and how it does what it does. So let's see. As you can see, I have the Cat Linux on parallel desktop on my background, but uh, I'm not gonna use this one. It, it is the ready-made Cat Linux. You can use it. Also, you can install Arcaic and stuff on your Mac, on your Linux, on your computer, and have the tools. I mean, Kali is easier because it already has everything. But anyway, uh, it is just the like sort of demonstration to you that you can use your Cat Linux like that. However. In this uh, video, I'm gonna just use the Cal Linux on my Raspberry Pi and do everything on the Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. First thing first, just let's SSH to the server, to my Raspberry Pi. To make the life easier, sudo dash s. For the first part, it's like the previous part. Maybe I'm gonna do it a little faster. Just uh, con uh, I connect my Wi-Fi NIC to the USB NIC to the Cat Linux to the Raspberry Pi. Try to change the uh, mode from uh, manage to monitor. If you want to know about that, just watch the previous video. I'm gonna just make it a little faster. Okay, let's go back. So far, we, did do, uh, we didn't do anything specific. So, error dump in GWLN1. Let's see what we're gonna get here. My tablet is connected to this access point. If you can see the name. Okay, so my tablet is connected to this access point. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just stop the process or maybe we're good to do. I'm not sure which one is my tablet. How can I check that? I'm going to just open a browser and start to scroll something like a, a very random website. And I can see since I'm surfing, there are more packets on this one. So in this way, I know it is mine, but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna do what we can still filter stuff. It works, and it shows this specific user, which is my tablet, and I'm still I'm just opening some random websites. And we can see things are changing and changing and changing. Okay, so cool. Now we're good. I'm not gonna continue scrolling anymore. Uh, let's go back to the uh, our stuff. So, what we're gonna do? What is the thing right now? So far, what we've done, we just tried to create the data a little more clear for us. We know the SSID, we know the ESSID based on this, so the, it, it, it calls it ESSID, which is the SSID. And after that, what else do we have here? We have the a user which is connected. What is the thing right now? And what is the concept? We have uh, one uh, AP which is broadcasting at, at this time. And the real twin brother 
or the man in the middle or Wi-Fi hijack. All of them are kind of the same in the concept is uh, the authenticating the users. So when I try to deauthenticate my tablet from the AP, my, th my tablet, it tries to come back to the AP. At the same time, the Cal Linux, the Raspberry Pi will be the man in the middle. And it comes like kind of like the, like the really like the uh, evil brother, like the twin brother. So it's a twin brother. You cannot distinguish between them. And you think it's the real brother. So you're going to connect to the twin brother, which is the evil one. And the evil will redirect your data, will bridge your data towards the main AP. The main AP, we're going to get the data. I'm going to get the data. And nobody, nobody gets the, uh, the, the, the real thing. Let's see how we're going to do that. First, a fake SSID. How I'm going to do that? Just by a simple, simple command. I mean, really easy with air base air base ng and then dash a. So kind of it is what we're going to do and channel six and WLAN one. So here we're going to say it is Airbase ng dash a, which is our AP. Then the ESSID, which we have it here, and on channel six, WLAN one. So what's going to happen here? We're, we're creating our fake AP here. So at the same time, I'm going to do what? I'm going to SSH to Kali 192.168.0.77. Okay, here what we're having, we are having fake SSID. At this time, it's the time to do the deauthentication. We're gonna do airplay, look at the command airplay, ng-0-0a. Dash zero dash zero so with this command, what will happen, all of the users which are connected uh, to the AP will be deauthenticated and they kind of come back. So how, just by, Pressing the enter, it's gonna send the uh, thing and you just need to stop it and come back. Here, what will happen if you don't stop the attack? So the Raspberry Pi, the Cal Linux, it keeps on uh, the authenticating the users and users, they keep on uh, just connecting and connecting and connecting. So then the user uh, or users, they will give up. And so it's, it's not good, it's not, it's not what you want. I, you want to just attack, check the reassociation notifications, and then when you see everything is good, the your man in the middle or the evil twin brother is working, just stop the attack and let the Raspberry Pi be the bridge, and then you start to sniff the data. So, so far, we are in the middle. Let's see what we can get uh, from sniffing the data. In order for that to happen, I open another. So, I'm going to do what? I'm going to SSH, the new Kali. And so now what we are going to do, we just need to create an, like a virtual interface and bridge it to the wired interface and to the wireless interface. I'm going to show it to you. For that reason, you need to install the bridge utils. I already did that. So I just type the command. You'll see it works. But uh, uh, for you, you're going to install it. Come here. App uh, like this. Now we just uh, need to be patient. Go get yourself a cup of coffee or grab a beer and just wait for the process. Okay, as you can see, nothing new installed because I already had that. So let's create the BR CTL ADDR, my evil twin. Oops, sorry. Let me clear. So this is the command the BR CTL ADDBR and my evil twin. It's just a name that I'm choosing. And what are these commands? You just simply 
need to google them and google will tell you that uh, this one is like a bridge name command to create a logical bridge instance and it's the bridge name just by simply googling you'll see you're gonna create a bridge and you're gonna use it in the Linux to have your interfaces connected to each other anyway after that I'll create my own evil twin so it's the name that I've chosen for that then if I do brctl show it shows me I have this one but no interfaces are assigned yet to that the other thing is that when we did the, this command here we create this interface 80 zero so we're going to use uh, actually it is the interface that this fake society is using so we're going to come here and use this fake interface how just we do need to bridge them to each other i'm going to do brctl add interface and my evil thing to 80 zero then do if config so this is the interface which has the wired connection et0 then after that so i connected that one so do if config then et0 it should be up with like four zeros uh and if config and but not this one the other my my evil thing should be up if i do brctl show now it tells me this interface is connected and this one is uh, up so what else we're gonna do just do the dh client my evil twin and let me open another one this one is pinging so if i ssh to this one cal linux and then sudo dash s kali what do we need to do we do need to do uh, clear uh, tcp dump but not on this one my evil twin i can do dash n so there is nothing right now because it's not connected but here if i come for example like this and i do i do what i do a brctl and connect this one so we're gonna see there are a, a lot of things so we're done we did the evil twin attack here and these are the logs that you can see like the communications and what are these the random website that the user opened here to probably check the flight price uh, here if you are using the parallel website just simply open your wireshark in the GUI of Cal Linux and then uh, choose the my evil twin uh, interface then you're gonna see like the live here you can add dash w and name and that pcap to save it somewhere as a pcap file and then export it to the wireshark or if you want to look at it like live the thing is that uh, you can dns you can like uh, do a filter on dns to see which website which user is opening it's more good for uh social engineering and those stuff and to me it was more like for training purposes so don't try it at home and hopefully you enjoyed my video if you like it and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel show me a thumbs up thanks for watching my video stay safe bye everyone bye